Hello, and welcome back to the Showcase at Alden District Library. It's the month of June and the beginning of summer. So get out and enjoy the great weather and all the various activities and events going on. But after you watch the video. On display this month is a collection of antique postcards that range from 1909 to 1921. Yes, that's right, 101 to 113 years old. Pretty amazing, huh? This collection belongs to Pam Weasler, who, by the way, is me, the narrator of the display videos. When I was a kid, I started collecting postcards that had been sent to our family, and as I got older, I would collect postcards from places I traveled to. When friends found out I was collecting them, they'd give me postcards they had received and no longer wanted. In my early 20s, my maternal grandmother offered me this collection that had been her mother's, so that would be my great-grandmother. The collection of postcards were kept in a book specifically designed for postcards. The pages are paper and have slots to slide the corners of the postcards in to hold them in place. The binding is broken and the pages are very fragile, but it's still a very special book. My great-grandmother was born in 1881 and passed away in 1956. My grandmother was born in 1913 and passed away in 1992. The book contains various styles of postcards as well as various occasions. There's even one for Groundhog Day that'll be in the display. With Christmas being the major holiday for sending out greetings, there are several Christmas postcards in the collection. There are many wonderful postcards, but not enough space to display them, so I chose the most unique ones, most of which are embossed. In addition to the wonderful artwork on the postcards, it's fun to see the postmarks and various styles of stamps which, by the way, were only one and two cents to send a postcard. And, of course, to read the messages. Some of the writing is not legible because it's too faded or has a postmark over it. Many of the messages were written in pencil, but there are others in ink. Postcards were the primary form of communication with friends and family, as not every home had electricity yet especially those who were farmers living in rural areas. If homes did have electricity, telephones were not in wide use yet. My grandmother's family lived in Cedar, Michigan, which is in Leelanau County and a very rural area. I haven't yet taken time to research the history of postcards or the various designers and artists who created them. That's on my someday list. For now, I just enjoy them and the messages of long ago. I did learn from a fellow collector that the dividing line on the back of the postcard, which is used to designate where to write the message and where to address it, wasn't added to the postcards until 1906. Now, I'd like to read three postcards for you. message on this postcard. There's not a date. It was addressed to my maternal grandparents. Dear John and family, don't be sore that Richard came home as he got scared and he would have not went home if I seen him go as he is a good little worker and I wanted him to help me but we had a little trouble and he went home. I am so sorry, as I need him so bad now. If you folks will be so kind, send him back to me, and I will pay him again as much as he is a good little fellow and makes me feel happy when he is with me. Best love as ever, Mary. Richard, please come back and work a few more days. Please, Richard. Would have been from a cousin. Next postcard is from 1919.
and its message. Dear friends, we'll drop you a few lines and tell you Joe killed the beef. You can come and get it if you have time. Goodbye. That was addressed to my great-grandparents from Mr. Joe Rice. And the last one is from 1910. Card says, Oh my, but you are sweet. Message is, I done well. I came back to work Tuesday morning. Will Joe come to Cedar Sunday morning on the train? If you can't come, write and let me know. That's from Joe Strang to and Cedar to Joe Kozak, K-O-S-Z-A-U-K, from Sutton's Bay, which is a town 17 to 20 miles, depending on the route, <laughs> from Cedar. Now, on to the display. Please note that the push pens are not in the postcards. Postcards are just resting on them. This Santa's hat and coat, the red is silk thread.
it was fun sharing the antique postcards with you. I hope you enjoyed the display and may you find some hidden treasures among your family and never forget those who came before us. Please be sure to tune in next month for a photography display of Michigan carnivorous plants by Patricia McCleary. As always, take care and enjoy the beauty around us.